These are the eight best books of all time, according to Bill Gates. Gates picks his favorites from among the huge number of books he's recommended over the years. When asked what advice he had for young people who want to make a positive impact on this world as part of a recent Reddit AMA, Ask Me Anything recently, Bill Gates' first suggestion was, read a lot. He's certainly taken his own advice. The billionaire entrepreneur turned philanthropist and super reader is constantly doling out book recommendations on his blog. Out of the dozens and dozens of titles he's mentioned over the years, which are his absolute favorites, in the course of the AMA, Gates answers that too, naming eight diverse titles that he considers among his top books of all time. 1. Grand Transitions by Vaclav Smile When Gates reviewed this book back in 2019, he called it Masterpiece, from one of my favorite thinkers. While he cautioned the book is not for everyone, and that long sections read like a textbook or engineering manual, he also insisted that Smeal's examination of the growth of just about everything, from dinosaurs to the number of transistors on a computer chip, is nothing short of brilliant. Nobody sees the big picture with as wide an aperture as Vaclav Smeal, Gates concluded. 2. How the World Really Works by Vaclav Smeal Another title from the Czech-Canadian professor and Gates' favorite author, this one is apparently a light read compared to Smeal's other, more technical tomes. The book represents the highly readable distillation of this lifetime of scholarship, according to the Wall Street Journal. It offers readers an overview of exactly how our material world, from concrete to fertilizer, is made. 3. The Better Angels of Our Nature by Steven Pinker. Steven Pinker's The Better Angels of Our Nature. Why Violence Has Declined stands out as one of the most important books I've read, not just this year, but ever, wrote Gates back in 2012. Apparently, his opinion hasn't changed in a decade. Gates also had good things to say about Enlightenment Now, the follow-up book from the Harvard professor, arguing that, despite appearances to the contrary, our world is not only growing less violent, but also more rational, prosperous, and all-around better. If you're looking for a ray of sunshine amid the current gloom, maybe pick up one of these titles. 4. The Coddling of the American Mind by Greg Lukianoff and Jonathan Haidt in his AMA, Gates says he's just finished this book by a First Amendment expert and social psychologist about the increasing unwillingness to engage with difficult ideas on college campuses, declaring it good. A lot of critics seem to have agreed. The authors do a great job of showing how safetyism is cramping young minds. Students are treated like candles, which can be extinguished by a puff of wind wrote Edward Luce in the Financial Times, concluding, Their book is excellent. Liberal parents in particular should read it. 5. Why We're Polarized by Ezra Klein This topical book by the well-known journalist and political analyst is also deemed good by Gates. The deeply researched book looks into what's driving Americans' division into highly partisan political camps. Reading Why We're Polarized is like having a conversation with a brilliant, extremely persuasive friend who has read everything and who is armed with scores of studies that he's able to distill into accessible bites, claims Amy Chua in Foreign Affairs. 6. A Gentleman in Moscow by Amor Towles Gates admits he reads a lot more non-fiction than fiction, but that doesn't mean he isn't profoundly moved by a novel now and again. In fact, he includes three on his best books ever list. In his 2019 review of this one, about a Russian count sentenced to 30 years of house arrest in a hotel by the Bolsheviks, he confesses the novel brought him to tears. A Gentleman in Moscow is an amazing story because it manages to be a little bit of everything. There's fantastical romance, politics, espionage, parenthood, and poetry, he writes suggesting it not just for students of Russian history, but for everyone who likes a great story well told. 7. The Heart by Melis de Karangal I have to confess I'm not entirely sure about this one, 
as Gates says, only heart is one of his favourites, and there are a lot of books out there with the word heart in the title. But I think it's a fair bet that he's referring to this novel about the untimely death of a young man and his family's decision to donate his heart because Gates wrote a rave review about it several years back. It's poetry disguised as a novel, Gates said of the book at the time, noting, At times I found myself reading more slowly than usual, simply because the way she describes things is so beautiful. He adds that the book forced him to face the depth of the grief of parents who have lost a child he encounters in the course of his philanthropic work. 8. All the Light We Cannot See by Anthony Doerr This Pulitzer Prize winning novel follows the story of a German soldier and a blind French girl whose lives collide during World War II. Critics used words like mesmerizing, exquisite, stunning, soulful and hauntingly beautiful to describe it. Gates apparently also fell under the novel's spell, as it was the last book on his list of all-time favorites. Thank you so much for watching. If you enjoyed this video, don't forget to give it a thumbs up and hit the subscribe button to join our community. For more content like this, check out our other videos on the channel. And remember, your comments and feedback are always appreciated.